हेलो फ्रेंड माय नेम नेमे शिक्षण कुमार फोटोशॉप एडिटर आप मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करेंगे आपको बहुत सारे फोटोशॉप ट्यूटोरियल मिलेंगे थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग What I'm going to do now is enable the layer of the snow border. I'm going to click and drag her up to the top of the layers panel. And I'm also going to double tap here on the zoom tool just so we can see the image at 100%. And actually, now that I'm looking at it at 100%, I'm actually going to right click on it and choose fit on screen so that I can see the entire field. And notice that my selection is not very accurate. You shouldn't spend too much time at this moment. If you select an area like this part here that is obviously not going to be Selection. I'm going to hold Alt, Option on the Mac, click and drag just to refine that selection just a little bit more. With this brush selected, I can click and drag here on the hair. Hopefully, we'll get better selection. Now, I didn't do that good of a job here, so I'm just going to leave it like this for now, and then I can come back with the brush tool and fix that in a moment. I'm going to press OK, click on the brush tool, paint with white. In areas that I want to keep. So I'm just going to paint with white in these areas here. And I know I'm selecting some of the sky, but that's okay. I'm going to get rid of that by pressing X on the keyboard, which swaps the foreground and background color. So with black, I'm going to paint on that layer mask to get rid of the sky here. And I'm not going to take the time to do so now. I will do that after the tutorial and you can see the final image. But I'm just going to go around the entire image and just another tutorial and you can see my final duplicate. Now with the duplicate channel, I can start making adjustments to it. The first thing I'm going to do is fill with white on the areas that I want to keep for copy icon to make a selection around it. Go back into the layers panel on the background layer, which is the only layer that we have in this document. And notice now floor is no longer there. Now it's not a perfect selection but it's going to work because the color of the floor and the color of the table are very You can't see the corner handles. I'm accordingly. I'm holding shift as I'm clicking on these corner handles to keep the file constrained. The angle is not really matching my seam so I'm going to right click on it and choose flip horizontal and from here I can match the seam a little better and I can even distort it if I want to. Maybe right click on it and choose distort just to get a better perspective of the scene that we're working with, maybe something like this. Right click, fit the screen, then I'm going to press V on the keyboard to get the move tool and maybe I can move it around if I need to. And I'm going to click on the new group icon to create a new group. I'm going to click and drag this snow layer in there. I'm going to collapse it and now it's in that group. Next I'm going to hold the Alt option on the Mac and click on the layer mask icon to create a black layer mask. With the brush tool, I can paint with white on this layer mask to start revealing some of that snow. So I'm going to use a bracket piece in the keyboard as I work to increase and decrease the size of my brush. So I'm just painting with white, just bringing in some of that snow. Snow a little bit better. At Photoshop CC, you won't have the library panel, but you can still download the watermark previews onto your desktop and bring them into Photoshop as you would any other image. So what I'm going to do now is just select one of these elements and bring it over to the file that I'm working with. So I'm going to click on the lasso tool and I'm going to select this element first. So I'm going to select it, go to edit and copy or you can press Control C. I'm going to deselect that element, Control D, Command D on the Mac. Go back into the file that we're working with and I'm going to paste it here. Control V, Command V on the Mac, and there it is. As you can see, it's a high resolution file, which is good. I'm going to change the blend mode to green so the black pixels disappear. And keep rotating it. So maybe something, something like this. And I, 
I can, you know, scale it more if I need to or rotate it more if I need to. So whatever distortions I need to do for it to work. So maybe something like that. So I just press enter to accept that transformation. And I'm going to use one more element. I'm going to use this one right down here. Again, control C, copy, and paste that in here. Change the blend mode to screen. Control T to transform. That's command in the Mac. Control zero. Command zero in the Mac. And scale this one in as well. And I'm going to zoom in. And here. We can, of course, create a selection around the black area to isolate it. But I like working with vectors better because. selecting some of the sky but that's okay I'm gonna get rid of that by pressing X on the keyboard which swaps the foreground and background color so the black I'm gonna paint on that layer mask to get rid of the sky here and I'm not gonna take the time to do so now I will do that after the tutorial and you can see the final image but I'm just gonna go around the entire image and just make sure that everything is mapped out accordingly and in most of these areas everything seems to be okay I know we gotta work on this area here and like I said I'll do that from the little tutorial and you can see my final result but for now we'll just leave it as it is I'm gonna press Z on the keyboard right click and choose to fix the screen and what we're gonna work on now is extra elements that are gonna help our composite look much more realistic and much more interesting so from the Adobe Stock Library, I downloaded two elements we're going to use. We're going to use this shovel with snow seat on the options panel, on the drop down. Click on one corner, and click on the next. Hold the space bar. Now the color of the shape really doesn't matter, so I'm just going to make it red just so that you can see it. There it is, red. What I'm going to do now is enable the layer of the snow border. I'm going to click and drag her up to the top. And I'm also going to double tap here on the zoom tool just so we can see the image at 100%. And actually, now that I'm looking at it at 100%, I'm actually going to right click on it and choose fit on screen so that I can see the entire piece. And notice that my selection is not very accurate. You shouldn't spend too much time at this moment. If you select an area like this part here that is obviously not going to be part of the selection, I'm going to hold Alt, Option on the Mac, click and drag just to refine that selection just a little bit more. This brush selected, I can click and drag here on the hair. Hopefully, we'll get better selection. Now, I didn't do that good of a job here, so I'm just gonna leave it like this for now, and then I can come back with the brush tool and fix that in a moment. So I'm gonna press OK, click on the brush tool, paint with white in areas that I want to keep. So I'm just gonna paint with white in these areas here. Okay.